Ah, hey everypony, uh, shock of shocks, I didn't get my episode up for December, but with one day left, I figured I could at least give you guys a little something. Um, I, I don't know who watches the show that follows me on Twitter, but, you know, I had mentioned that I had, because of the wiki and pony head, I had managed to read through all of Friends Forever, and that I had thoughts, and I, I just thought that I didn't want to leave it at that, I just wasn't sure if I should do like a Tumblr post, or just a Twitter thread, or what. But, you know, um, with me, I want to at least get an ep some sort of video content up for December, so I guess I'll just do a bit of a ramble. I wish I had thought to like reread the set a little bit before doing this, but um, you know, let's see what happens. Because, uh, first of all, I don't know what I'm going to get any of the cards, because I looked at, I've been to a couple gaming stores here, no one cares. Yeah, I, I'm up in another state, I'm visiting my parents, I'm in the uh, honeymoon suite, as my mom likes to call it. But, um, anyway, one thing I will get out of the way that kind of bugged me about the set is I'm really disappointed on how it handled mains. Namely, that I'm kind of annoyed we didn't get all six of the student six, which means we don't have a main for each color in the set, and that, that always just sort of bugs me when that happens. You know, um, but I'm also really kind of frustrated that they're not all the same rarity. It, it, you know, there's no other way to avoid that plan words, is there? Um, yeah, like, all of the ones we do get are, I think, I forgive the, but you know, Smolder, uh, the Griffin, the Changeling. Yeah, it's just those three. They're uncommon. And then Silver Stream's an ultra rare. <laughs> and then, you know, who cares about Yona or Sandbar, apparently. I mean, they, they all get friends in their respective colors. Some, I think, in multiple colors. But just, ah, just, I was. Because. I was watching a season 8 episode that focused on the student 6 right around the time like I knew set 10 was going to be announced and I just remember thinking, you know, I bet this is going to focus on the student 6 and then like the next day Friends Forever was revealed the package image the image of the booster pack leaked and it had all the student 6 on it so so again, that, that's more like I should have managed my expectations, but I just, I don't know why we couldn't get that. That, 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 that part really bugs me. But uh, other than that, I really enjoyed the set. Um, the only other criticism I could really think is that just like, you know, I made the sarcastic comment to myself that they should have just named the set Power Creep. Because just in terms of raw power. There's just so many super strong, holy crap, why is this a good idea, cards. Uh, and I, I, you know, my, when I first think that, I just think of it in terms of raw number, like, um, Rock Hoof, you know, the Pillar of Strength. You know, I, I, I squeed when I just saw the card, because, you know, timing me talking about one one ones again in my last episode i just like oh my god he's he's my favorite pillar and he's one of my favorite types of cards but then he's just his numbers escalate so quickly and there's just there's um so many just raw powerful cards in this set and not and just terms of utility too um so much so that it's just, um, you know, I keep talking about precision of language, but this is, um, you know, something in the, uh, you know, if you'll pardon me talking about Pathfinder for a second, but in the uh, playtest rulebook for Pathfinder 2.0, they went and broke, they made the language so precise that in a few places it gets, it's really, it just circles back and becomes complicated again. That, um, that fireworks resource, I mean, I think it's a resource, I don't know what else it could be, maybe it was an event, but it just, I had to read that card five times before I finally realized what it does, and the short answer is it flips everything. 
and then it flips it back. Which, you know, E. Bugle being the mad genius that he is, he built a deck on it, deck around it, like the second that card was revealed. Uh, but there, um, when I mentioned, you know, the timing of it being with my latest episode, um, I mentioned in my latest episode that I was just kind of happy that yellow was getting some non-critter focus. One thing that stuck out of me, and I maybe, maybe I missed it, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but there are no yellow cards that have anything to do with critters in this set, which I thought was really neat. Like, even one where you think it would, it was a Big Daddy McCult animal expert. You know, it says animal in the subtitle, I'll remember that much. And no, that affects troublemakers. It has nothing to do with critters. So, you know, that just makes me happy on a personal level. Um, another thing I keep harping on is, like, I really wish the game would do more with traits. Well, we got that with the, uh... Is it a keyword? Like, the harmony effect. Because, I, I mean... It, 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 harmony is italicized on the cards, not bolded like keywords typically are. But... Yeah, that, that's really cool, that's just, that makes me happy, and, um, like, the one, th in terms of my own personal deck building, I know that I am going to build a Smolder deck based on the dragon trait, and, you know, just all the different kinds of dragons, like, I've already ordered a special, you know, special deck box on eBay for it, because, you know, I'm totally going to find the cards sometime soon and totally start working on decks again. But I also know that my um, my Thorax deck, which has been my main deck lately, partially because it's like one of the few complete ones that I got right now, but I'm changing that from yellow and blue to yellow and white just because of um, Thorax's brother and just some of the stuff Harmony Changeling can do. Just, holy wow, I mean, good. This is why I, I, mean, I really wish I'd refresh my memory on what some of the cards do, so I'm less rambly, but I'm just like, yeah, this, I feel like this set should have been called Power Creep. Um, another thing that surprised me, this isn't a complaint, it just, it surprised me. Um, there are like five problems, and you know, literal problem cards. I mean, I'm sure if you get someone more analytical, they can tell you there are plenty of problems with the set, but no, like, the problem cards, there's only like five of those. That really surprised me. Uh... I like all that the pillars are all ultra rares. I like that they all you get all of their their magic items. I forget what they're called, but they they all get those and they're all pretty good. Some of them are more complicated that I can't remember what they do, but they're all really neat. Um basically I'm just I'm based on reading the set, I'm really looking forward to it. I really want to grab some of the cards. Like I immediately start okay. As I'm reading, okay, that's going in this deck that I'm going to build someday. That's going in this deck I'm going to build someday. But, yeah, I, I really enjoyed reading the set. I really hope to find some soon. And uh, I didn't think I was going to ramble for almost ten minutes, but here we are. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys had a happy heartwarming Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever. I hope um, 2019 is better for you than 2018 was like if I mean just coming from me 2018 was a rough year it was a rough year for a lot of people I know it seemed like a rough year for the world in general but if you had a good 2018 I hope your 2019 is even better um just uh take care every pony lots of love and hopefully best princess 2 will be up in January take care